evaluate the sine, cosine, and tangent of pi divided by 3. Well, the first things first, right, is that I would go ahead and convert pi over 3 from radians into um, degree measurement, right? So pi over 3 radians. I'm going to multiply by 1 pi radian on the bottom, right? And 180 on the top, right? Just multiply across pi, your numerator times your numerator, your second fraction. So pi times 180 is going to be 180 pi degrees, right? The radians cancel out, right? Over 3 times pi radian, right? Divide by greatest common factor of 3 pi. Oh, and radians cancel out, so that's it. no longer C. Okay, and then you'll get um, 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees, and 3 pi divided by 3 pi is 1, so pi over 3 radians is equal to 60 degrees. So we're going to find sine of 3, sine of 60, cosine of 60, and tan of 60. Notice that I'm using the abbreviations. Um, sin is a abbreviation of sine, cos is an abbreviation of cosine, Tan is the abbreviation of tangent. So now, in order to figure out the um, the measures of these angles, you have to go ahead and draw something called the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, right? That's a right triangle with a right angle right here, and 30 degrees here, and 60 degrees here. Now, these are um, trigonometric ratios that have been uh, calculated already, and I, I have just memorized. And it's opposite... Um, Opposite the 30 is going to be a ratio of 1, right? Because the, the ratio of the angles 30, 60 to 90 is going to be 1 to radical 3 to 2. So opposite 30 is going to be 1. Opposite the 60 is going to be radical 3. Opposite 90 is 2. So if we were to find sine of 60, we're going to find... Um, we're going to utilize something called Sokachawa. And what sine represents is opposite over adjacent, OH, right? Opposite of angle 60 over hypotenuse, right? So opposite of angle 60 is going to be radical 3, right? See right there? Right? So then, um, hypotenuse is 2, so sine of 60 is going to be radical 3 over 2. And then cosine of 60 would be ka, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent, adjacent to angle 60 over hypotenuse, right? Because ka. Adjacent to angle 60 would be 1, right? Hypotenuse is 2, so cosine of 60 degrees would be 1 half, right? And then tan is opposite, is OA, OA. So opposite of angle 60 over adjacent to angle 60. And opposite of angle 60 is going to be um, radical 3, right? And um, adjacent to angle 60 is going to be 1, right here, because it's right along the side. Adjacent means along the side of, right? So then go ahead and put it over 1. Radical 3 divided by 1 is radical 3. So then 10 of 60 is going to be radical 3.